a gentleman always knows how to create the right atmosphere and mood. One of the best ways to do this is with music. The music you choose as a modern gentleman is just as important as style, dinner etiquette and body language. With the right songs, you can create a mood of elegance, sophistication and relaxation. Choose the wrong music, however, and it can totally destroy your image as a gentleman. In this video, I will make some suggestions for the different types of music you can listen to. Music is important not only to create an atmosphere when you have company, but also to put yourself in the right frame of mind. I have music across various genres, including specific albums that I go to time and time again. And I will be sharing the much anticipated playlist of this channel, featuring all the songs that you've heard and enjoyed in my videos. I'm extremely excited about this video, so let's get right into it. Jazz is naturally the music of a gentleman. It is modern yet classic, intelligent yet emotional, and sophisticated yet rebellious. There are many different styles of jazz out there, but a gentleman always loves the classics. As a starting point, I recommend listening to a genre known as cool jazz, which is laid back, easy to listen to, and easy to appreciate. I like to listen to cool jazz when I'm unwinding after a long day of work with a cocktail or a glass of wine, but it's also great party music. Here are some introductory albums to this genre that I come back to time and time again. My favorite jazz album is by far Blue and Sentimental by Ike Quebec. This one has a beautiful mix of both melancholy and upbeat moods. The guitar work is so incredible, so is the saxophone. But perhaps the most famous album in this genre is Kind of Blue by Miles Davis. Unlike some of his later works, this one is chilled through and through. You see, when trying to set a mood, you don't want anything that's too jarring or has too much variety between the tracks. Rather, you want a melodic background to anything that you're doing. Although, of course, these albums are so fantastic that you could just sit back and listen to them, enjoying their brilliance as works of art. These albums are instrumental, but I also think that a gentleman appreciates the great jazz vocalists. For example, Frank Sinatra, Nat King Cole, Julie London, and Billie Holiday. I love the Sinatra album in the wee small hours. It's his most melancholic and deep work, with none of that Las Vegas cheesiness that he's often remembered for. So be sure to give that one a listen next time you have an hour and you're ready to try something new. Another type of jazz that a gentleman appreciates is bossa nova. Bossa nova originated in Brazil in the 1950s and 60s, and in my opinion, it's the most sophisticated and delightful music on the planet. Personally, I especially like to listen to bossa nova music in the morning. It creates a beautiful, hopeful mood to start the day. My favorite album is Stoneflower by Antonio Carlos Jobim. Jobim is the grandfather of this genre, and in my opinion, this is his most enchanting, relaxing, and inspiring work. It sounds just like the artwork looks. Another essential album in this genre is the collaboration between Stan Getz and Joao Gilberto. You may recognize some songs like Corcovado and Girl from Ipanema, which became jazz standards in their own right. I believe a gentleman has an appreciation for the standards. These are well-known songs that have been recorded by many different popular artists. It's a pleasure to listen to the different versions of these songs and appreciate how each artist put their own unique spin on it. As well as all of these great works, a gentleman also utilizes background music to create a mood. There are many great jazz playlists on Spotify that will create the right feeling whether you're trying to focus on work or relax in the evening. You will have noticed that I use background music to create the right atmosphere in my videos. And many of you have been asking for the playlist, so I've decided to add all of the songs that I use to a dedicated Spotify playlist. The link is in the description and I hope you get a lot of use and pleasure out of this. While nothing is more elegant and sophisticated than jazz, I believe the modern gentleman also knows how to let his hair down from time to time. He does this with an appreciation of classic blues and rock music. I'm talking about B.B. King, Led Zeppelin, The Doors, Simon and Garfunkel, David Bowie, legendary musicians with incredible talent who produced fantastic albums and songs. This is great music to listen to while at the gym, driving, or hosting a more casual party. 
Now here are a couple of my favourite albums in this category. First, Station to Station by David Bowie. This Bowie album blends the best of rock, soul, funk, pop and disco. It has upbeat tracks like Stay and Golden Years, but also beautiful melancholic works like Wild is the Wind. It's not Bowie's best known album, but I choose it because of the mood that it creates and because in my opinion it is his best vocal performance. My second album recommendation is Born Under a Bad Sign by Albert King. If you're not familiar with the blues, this one is a perfect starting point. It features many standard songs like Crosscut Saw and The Very Thought of You, and it has this live feeling which really allows Albert King's unique guitar playing and vocals to shine. A Gentleman does not have much time for modern pop music. It's often manufactured for teenage girls, with little consideration for artistic vision or actual talent. However, there are some examples of pop music that can create an atmosphere of sophistication. Many of these examples can be found by looking back a few decades. I have one favourite artist that I'm sure many of you will love too, and that's Sade. Her first four albums, Diamond Life, Promise, Stronger Than Pride and Love Deluxe are the most beautiful, elegant examples of pop music ever made. Not only does she have a beautiful voice, but the instrumentation and production transports you to a place that feels like falling in love at a five-star hotel in the Caribbean. Rarely does a day go by when I don't listen to Sade, and I highly encourage you to start off with one of her four albums or a compilation. It's the perfect music to listen to when getting ready for the day, setting the mood when you have company, or just enjoying by yourself. As well as Sade, there are some other artists in this so-called sophisti-pop genre that you might appreciate. Brian Ferry is not only an icon of men's style, but also a master in creating elegant pop music. His works Boys and Girls, Betty Noir, and the Roxy Music album Avalon also have this beautiful late night in paradise kind of feeling. They sound a little more dated than Sade, partly due to the production, but the songwriting and the instrumentation is still first rate. For an artist who sounds a little more up to date, check out Chris Isaac. He is best known for his song Wicked Game, but his albums Silvertone and Heart Shaped World have many tracks that also create this late night atmosphere. You may have noticed that in this video I mostly recommended entire albums. I believe a gentleman appreciates art as it was intended to be appreciated, and when it comes to creating a mood, having a curated set of songs is much more effective than skipping through tracks or trying to pick and choose on the spot. And skipping tracks is the most irritating thing you can do when playing music with others. Vinyl is a great way to appreciate and value the music you listen to, but it's not always practical. Personally, I sold my collection and all my equipment when I moved to the US. But don't be surprised if you see a turntable and a stack of records in the background at some point in the future. At the least, get yourself a good Bluetooth speaker for your home so you can enjoy your music with good clarity. Because tinny, low quality speakers will always create a bad atmosphere, no matter how sophisticated your music choices are. Gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed this video, because I think choosing the right music is a huge part of the gentlemanly lifestyle, and it's a topic that's very dear to me as a musician myself. I want to hear from you in the comments if you enjoyed this video, and if you would like to see more content about music in the future. In this video, I did not get the chance to address classical music, which could be a whole video in of itself. But personally, I'm more of a lover of jazz, blues, and rock, so that's what I wanted to focus on with this one. As you continue on your journey to becoming a gentleman, I encourage you to expand your cultural knowledge and appreciation for art. So you might want to see my recommendations for five fiction books that I think every gentleman should read. Each one offers some valuable life lessons while being highly entertaining at the same time. So I hope you enjoy that video, and I thank you very much for watching.